Hey guys, Stacy here with Fox Jumper. I got him some new gear because I took a trip to the mall. They have some awesome new gear over there. Uh, so new saddle, saddle pad, and bridle. Um, I, I had to go back to the mall because I bought some leg wraps that I thought looked awesome. And then once you get out of the funky mall lighting, you realize, oh, that's not quite the right color. <laughs> Same as it happens in real life sometimes. So I went back and got another pair that I, I like a little bit better. I wish there was more. There's a bright blue on the front of this saddle, and I wish there was more stuff available in that color. But I had to match most stuff with this color back here. But that's okay. I think he still looks very handsome. So I'm in Yarlaheim. Because I have this quest at the end of this Isolde and Loki quest line that I just never finished and <laughs> never did. So I'd like to wrap that up, have it checked off my <laughs> quest list. So here's a dune. Hello, Cadence. Isolde and Loki came home yesterday after you'd left <laughs> months ago. <laughs> we had a delightful family dinner, all of us. Loki, too. He's actually a really nice lad, believe it or not. I guess he and his old can see each other now, under supervision of an adult, that is. I don't want to know about any hanky-panky. <laughs> Where are they now? They rode over to the Sunfield farm together to speak to Philip and Martina. Ride there too and see if you could find them. They wanted to thank you for everything you've done for them. Tristan? Well, he won't get away easy. I've raised him too sloppy, but he'll work hard until he's learned the value of responsibility and how to behave himself. How I'm going to accomplish that? Well, I'll punish him the same way I punished Loki. By mucking the pigsty on the Sunfield farm for a full year. That'll do. When I think about what that blasted kid did, ugh, just... He, it's best he keeps away, so he won't have to face the wrath of Goldspur. <laughs> yeah. Really? Hey, twins. Oh, hey. Hey, Philip. Hey, Cadence, I'm so happy everything worked out. What if you hadn't helped us get to the bottom of this? Loki would have become even more unhappy and the real perpetrator would have gotten away with it. I'll straighten up Tristan. Labor him with honest work from morning till nightfall if need be. How's he doing? He's oinking more than the pigs, that lad. <laughs> but Martina's keeping an eye on him, making sure he's not just lazing off. We're used to that kind of thing from keeping an eye on Loki. Where Loki and his old might be? They rode to Jarlheim a while back. They went to see our old friend Gavin, the city guard there. Ask him where they are and if you want to get a hold of them. Listen, thank you again for everything you've done. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey there, Gavin. What's going on? Loki and his old. I'm watching those kids. No hanky pinky on my watch. <laughs> where they are? They, they were just here. Oh, that's it. They were going to the wall to look at the view. For yourself. Look for yourself. They're up there. I have my eyes on them. They're not leaving my sight for a hundredth of a second. They won't fool me. Are you going up there to say hello? Tell them not to try any hanky-panky. My falcon eyes see all. Where are... Oh. <laughs> I think he needs a new prescription in his glasses. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. <laughs> What do we have over here? <laughs> Buckets and vests. <laughs> oh, there they are. They didn't need to lie about that. They're in the middle of the, the courtyard. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi. Just waving away. Hi. Hey, you sold. Cadence, we were wondering where you were. We wanted to thank you for everything. Everything's so wonderful now. We get to be together and don't have to slip away all the time. We just have to be a little sneaky so that we don't have to be chaperoned all the time. Thank you again. We'll see you around. Oh, by the way, here's the key to the treehouse. Now that we don't have to hide our love anymore, we don't need it. You can borrow it as much as you'd like. Bye, Cadence. Thanks. That was a cool treehouse. <gasps> Yay! Our reputation went up a little bit. I was checking on my reputation earlier today to see what I need to improve. Fir Grove needs some improvement. Keepers of Aideen, well, I just kind of unlocked that. Veildale. At least I'm looking good in some places. Gardens, I just kind of started. <laughs> That's poor Mario up at the observatory. Jarlheim needs some work. All right. 
gold spur. I'm neutral with a lot of places. Friendly with South Hoof and the Hermit. So I do have some work to do. I do have quite a few uh, reputation ones. Oh, Philip has another quest. Let's go check back in with him. Hey, Philip. Hello, Cadence. Lovely to see you again. It's good you stopped by, actually. There's tons to do here. So much that I was close to forgetting my wife's birthday. She's absolutely terrifying if I miss it, and she'd probably kill me if I forgot it again after forgetting it last year. I haven't got the time to get her a present, though. There's way too much for me to be getting on with here at the farm. And by the time I'm done, the shops will be closed. Any bright ideas? <gasps> flowers? Yeah, she loves flowers. Great idea. Reckon I could ask you a favor. Could you gather a few flowers and give her a little bouquet? You can. Excellent, thanks. Pick some flowers and give them to her from me. Don't forget to wish her a happy birthday. You, but you might want to give them to her yourself. I don't mind picking them, but <laughs> you should be the one to give them to her. All right. Flowers picked. I think they were dandelions. <laughs> hey, Martina. Oh, what lovely flowers. Are they for me? From Philip. Oh, my husband is just too adorable. Just to think he forgot my birthday last year and knew I would have had a word or two to say if he did it again this year. Listen, Cadence, here at the farm, there's always lots to do. If you could help us out with a few little jobs, it'd give Philip and I a little more time over to build up our new company. It's something we've been thinking about for so long, but never had the time to do. Complete daily tasks with the Sunfields to increase your reputation with them. Alright, thanks. We're not going to work on that right now. That's something I'll probably work on. Um, not recording reputation stuff, because it's the same chores every day, basically. Our little buddy Stein has a quest for us. Herman on vacation. Listen, Cadence, it feels like we've become firm friends since you started working here. I promised Herman not to say anything, but I trust you, and if you really want to meet him, I'll tell you where he is. He's not far off on vacation, only a few meters away, actually. He never went on vacation. He's been hiding in his house to get away from Jack and be alone with some new project of his. I know, pretty clever or what? He'll open the door if you do a secret knock. Do it like this. Knock like this three times. Correct, you've got it. Do as I've told you and Herman will surely open the door. Oh. Oh. I like Herman's house. Hey, isn't that him right, right there? We met him because he delivered um, Alex's horse. Tin can. Hey, why didn't why didn't we jump? I hit jump. Jump. All right, better that time. Hey, Herman. We're gonna do the secret knock on your door, even though you're standing right there. Knock. No, stop! Stop, stop horse! Stop. Aha! There he is. Stein, what is it? Who, who are you? How come you know the secret knock? We've met, Herman. We've met. Hmm. So Stein eventually told you where to find me? Oh, well, I guess it was unavoidable. What do you want? Take over Jack's job as mayor. I neither want or have time to be mayor. The three major families in the county should be able to handle this themselves. I'm doing much... Too important work myself, you see. Everything isn't what it appears to be. The GED has something big and sinister going on. Oh, we know. Wait, we can we cannot speak here. You never know who might be listening. Come inside and I'll tell you more. Oh, all right. In we go. What a cute little house! Again with the no bed thing. <laughs> Can I trust you? I think so. It feels like you possess a special force. A force that I recognize. Alright, I'll go with my gut feeling and trust you. You see, I need help moving forward with a mystery I'm trying to solve. Where did Mayor Evelyn go exactly? That is a good question. There are many sinister things going on in the Harvest Counties these days. Cadence GET is in the middle of some big secret project. You might have seen them collecting samples around here. And they're involved in Mayor Evelyn's disappearance, I'm certain. Everything is connected, but I have no proof. Here's where you come in. This is how it is. Cadence GED has somehow been allowed to search for minerals all around Jarlheim. How they got permission, I don't know. But there is no way they have obtained it legitimately. 
There's some funny business going on, most definitely, and they're behind the disappearance of Mayor Evelyn as well, though I'm not sure yet how. GED's head in Yarlheim, a certain Ms. Drake, is extremely suspicious of me and avoids me like the plague. But she doesn't know you. Well, she kind of knows us. There was a kitten incident. We don't want to get into it. Get my drift? If you, whom she doesn't know well, could win her confidence, you would certainly be able to find out what they're doing around here. Would you help me find out what GED is doing here in the Harvest Counties? What are they really up to, and are they behind Evelyn's disappearance? You'll do it? Good. Ride off and speak to Miss Drake and see if you can get employment with her. Good luck. All right. So, I think that's part of uh, the start of getting into Epona, is that we have to build up reputation with the GED in Yarlaheim. I'm going to take a picture. I like how this looks. It looks like it's my house. Hello, madam. We'll just pretend like we have a kitten with us and she'll do everything we say. Employment here, you. <laughs> hey, wait. Let me wipe off the tears. You would like to work for us. Please, we don't hire wimps. At our company, you need to be fierce and merciless to get a job. What? You are fierce and merciless? Would you be willing to betray your friends for a raise? Fraud senior citizens for their last dime for a higher bonus? Level a nature reserve to the ground for a free lunch? You would? Hmm. I did all that when I was about your age. Maybe you're just the one I'm looking for. Okay, you'll be undertaking the GED standardized employment test. If you succeed, you'll get a probationary position here. We're starting now. Are you ready? I hope so. Mm -hmm. All right, we just have to think of being evil. One of your employees arrives five minutes late for work. He says that he is late because he was forced to drive his sick grandmother to the hospital. What do you do? Fire him on the spot. Fire him and sue him for GED's lost income. Fire him, sue him, and his grandmother for all they have. Um, we're gonna pick the meanest one, I think. You receive a bonus if you increase your department's profit. What will you do to earn it? You would hold an inspirational talk? That doesn't sound right. You fire the employees to increase profits by not having to pay salaries. You work extra hard and help your workers with their jobs. No, we're going with the middle one. An old farm seems to be located above a rich mineral deposit. How are you going to get the minerals? We're going to tear down the farm. Is that an option? You poison their farm, put the farm under quarantine, and buy it cheap when the owner goes bankrupt. Oh. You convince the farmer that mining the minerals will create jobs and improve the community. You offer the, uh, the farmer a big and fair sum of money. This is even worse than what I was thinking. We're going to go with that one. What's your favorite color? Green like money, red like love, or blue like the ocean and the sky. Well, we're going to go with money. How'd we do? Wow, you got a perfect score. Yes, we know evil. I've never met a more sinister or ruthless person than you, Cadence. Can it really be true? Congrats, that was really perfect. I'll teach you all I know, but if you betray me, I will hunt you to the ends of the world. Do not forget, no one fools Miss Drake and gets away with it. Put on these clothes. You need to look professional looking for the GED, and since you're in your probation period, we won't be giving you any pay. But that goes without saying. Ooh, what'd she give us? A skirt. And, oh, a top. It's cute. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, though. We must always ensure that our workers are doing their job. Anyone who doesn't is fired directly. So ride off to Exploration Station Alpha and make sure everyone is working as they should and report back to me afterwards. If you find someone lounging, relaxing, eating lunch, or using the restroom, I'll teach you the best firing techniques. Ah, it's the best thing I know. No one can make people cry like me. What else you got for us? Our exploration hasn't yielded any results yet, Cadence. We need to find some valuable minerals or metals soon, and I'll get fired or I'll get fired by management. Remember, if I'm fired, you're fired as well. The management is merciless. If they fire me, mine and every other GED worker's lives are destroyed forever. There isn't a more heartless bunch than the GED's management. 
I respect them tremendously. Ride off to Exploration Station Alpha and prospect some mineral samples for the, from the stones that the workers have exposed. You think it best that Herman gets the mineral samples once you find them, instead of Miss Drake. As you understand, our operation here in Jarlaheim isn't entirely successful. We must do everything we can to get results. Take this extremely threatening letter I've composed to our supervisor at Exploration Station Alpha. After he's read it, I guarantee he'll work harder so he won't get fired. <laughs> he'll push his staff even harder than himself, too. I love starting this kind of chain reaction. It's fortunate that the GED doesn't have a health plan for their employees. Then we'd have to pay millions for damages as we're pushing them harder than anyone else. Oh, it's so beautiful. It brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> At least she's entertaining. She's horribly evil, but it's so much fun to read what she has to say. Okay, Ex Exploration Station Alpha is... Okay, out on the outskirts. So this should be Exploration Station Alpha. I guess this is the man we deliver the letter to. What do you want? A letter from a strike? Oh, report to her that will work even harder. She doesn't need to worry. She can trust me. And listen, if I should get fired, can you try to get her to change her mind? She doesn't need to make use of her contacts to expel my kids from school as well. Oh gosh. That is really threatening. So I guess we just run past all these guys to inspect them. Oh, is this a mineral deposit? Use item mining pit. I'm assuming we have to be off the horse, but just in case, yes. Mining pit. One of three. Fantastic. All right, we need some more workers to inspect. Hello, anybody working? There's one. One more person to inspect. Hey guy, we need to inspect you. Boom, thanks. And there's one more mineral deposit. It appears to be over this way. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I think we need to take the mineral deposit to Herman and then return to Miss Drake. Hey Herman. Hmm. Cadence, have you discovered anything? They're looking for valuable minerals but haven't found any yet? Hmm, I have an idea. Let's deceive Miss Drake properly. Here's how we'll do it. Let me swap these samples with the gravel from the stable's gravel path. I guarantee these pebbles are worthless. Bring these to Miss Drake instead and see what she says. <laughs> He's real proud of his little scheme. Hello, Miss Drake. You're back. Report. Everyone was working as they should. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to firing someone today. Do you have the mineral samples? Good. I'll send them for analyzing at our lab. Let's hope we've found something. The management is starting to lose their patience. So, Cadence, how do you like it here at the GED? Is your dark heart's hunger satisfied by the misery you're spreading? It's wonderful. You really have potential. I'd like to make you my personal assistant, but you're too inexperienced. If you continue to work and make errands, I'm asking you to. I could probably give you a promotion soon. Work hard. I like you, and I'll gladly ruin your life if you betray me. You could start by fetching me a cup of coffee from Stable Bucks Cafe. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Hey, Catherine, we need some coffee. For Miss Drake? Oh, I'll get it at once. Oh, concentrate. I must make it precisely like she wants it. Get it? Otherwise, she'll, she's promised to tear the cafe to the ground and construct a landfill here instead. Do not disturb me. Here's Miss Drake's coffee. It's completely black, without sugar or milk, precisely like she wants it. Hurry back. To her. Here's your coffee, ma'am. Ma'am, sir. Ma'am. Let me taste the coffee. Quite bitter with a burned aftertaste. Perfect. 
Cadence, I'm going to give you errands to run every day from now on. Make them and show some diligence, and I might promote you to be my personal assistant. I really need a new one. My old one forgot I'm not using milk in my coffee, so I was forced to fire him and banish his entire family from their family farm. Ha <laughs> ha, good times, good times. Remember that, Cadence. I want my coffee as my heart. Black. Thanks, Miss Drake. And now we have dailies to do with her to level up our rep. But that is for Epona, which is a little bit down the line. So we need to focus on uh, some of the other quests as well. I just wanted to shake things up because I've been doing the other quests on Nova. So it's fun for me to do it, do them kind of at different times, different different quests. <laughs> so um, we still uh, can always take a break and work on the gardening stuff in at the winery, which is good because I... Oh no, my reputation there is doing good. On Nova, it's not, which is weird to me that on Cadence, my reputation is so high at the winery, it's admired. And on Nova, it's, it's nowhere near that. So <laughs> I've been working on those quests. Um, Felicity's chicken neck. Oh, we were working on chickens with little Andy. And then we have some weird stuff going on at Veldale Lake and with Avalon, we'll do those. And Tan is looking for her money still, so we're going to help her out. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some of these other ones off camera, the, re the ones that repeat. So like the quests with Mario and um, opening up the race, the stuff with the with Saga and Philip that we unlocked today, you know, and more with Miss Drake. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am so excited because we've got so much awesome stuff going on. We've got our new little horse fox jumper. I don't even care that he's a pony. I love him. I love riding him. Watching him jump is so funny. <laughs> I will see you guys again next time. Bye.